Hello, so I'm here again to try to discover how to keep the CPU like uh, cold while, while gaming and also try to have like a good gaming experience. I was trying to underclock the CPU because I know that the CPU is like 2.8 gigahertz of, of power. So I was trying to take it somewhere like 2.2 gigahertz. I tried, I tried the Intel Extreme 2 utility, but, I, but the truth is that I don't know anything about overclocking or clocking, so I wasn't scared to touch it to and damage my CPU. But I found like a more interesting thing to do because when I was uh, making all the other benchmarking videos, I was in the mode of high performance in in my power settings. So now I'm gonna try the power saver mode that it's supposed like it takes like some power away of the components, and I wanna see like how the computer behaves, uh, what FPS we can get like in some games with a lot of GPU tasks and CPU tasks and see how, it, see how this goes. So I'm gonna try again with Minecraft and this time I'm gonna keep using the ultra shaders that I have because even if you say, oh, Minecraft is not a demanding game, well, first of all, it's a really CPU demanding game because you don't know like all the things that Minecraft does to create all these objects and terrains and thingies. So it's a really many CPU game. Uh, just a second, let me check my user password that I forgot. Okay, here we go. Okay, so my main objective with this is to have good FPS and to keep the CPU under 70 degrees Celsius. Let's hope that I can manage to do this. So far I have the, my Predator Sense in the fans in automatic. They're on 12 and 2000 in 2000 uh, RPMs. We're at 45 degrees Celsius before I started playing. Oh, it looks like Minecraft died. about to oh there we go okay so oh sh sorry single player oh, this java messages my bad okay so we're going to single player and again we're in our world with shaders let's see what happens Taking its sweet time. Okay, okay, what's this? 7 FPS, 0 FPS, 3.65 FPS, something is happening here. Okay, <laughs> this is not the power settings. I think that when I switch to power saver mode, something happens that it stops using the NVIDIA GTX 1060 and it's using the Intel integrated graphics card, so... Sorry, let me check this real quick. I didn't know that it do that, it do this thing. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's go to NVIDIA settings. Well, for the people that doesn't know how to... Like, set the NVIDIA the GTX 1060 as their main card for some games because some games like Minecraft they pick first the integrated graphics card so you have to like actually make a small setup here for the game to pick the GTX 1060 I already did this before but when I changed to uh, the power saver mode I think that this thing reverted so I, it was in manage 3D settings uh, prefer graphic processor High performance NVIDIA processor. I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna set apply. But, oh wait, it's dying. But I don't blame the, I don't blame the PC for these things that are dying, I blame Windows. 
it's like the system gets scared like oh no he's doing things that are too much for me okay but now here in program settings i'm going to make sure that the like the java initiator of minecraft it's also having the the gtx 1060 as its main card oh my god <sighs> okay so okay here we go so here i have programs that i can choose from and i have minecraft minecraft launcher and this is the high performance nvidia processor and there was also java around here but okay let's try it because i said the, the nvidia to be like the main default card for all the things so we're gonna try that well that way some games don't recognize your graphic cards now you know what you have to do just go into the nvidia control panel and set the GTX 1060 as your main card. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna leave the control panel open just in case. How are we with this? We're at 80 degrees Celsius and we are under 12,000 RPMs. Okay, this thing is launching. dying again I also think that this thing is dying because the power saver mode takes like energy away from the graphics card from the hard drive discs from the processor takes power away from everything okay let's go to single player let's, we go to our world we let it load And I'm concerned because we're still under 12 FPS. Oh my God, what is this? Uh, here we go, 21. No, this is still slow, why? I wonder if it's actually because of the power settings or what? We're in 19, 11 FPS. Holy shit, what is happening? I don't know if I have the GTX 1060 as the full card or what's going on here. But this is sucking ass. Well, the CPU's temperature were at 50, but I wouldn't be surprised with the shitty, shitty performance. Like, it's terrible. I think it has the 1060 selected because if it was the integra integrated graphic cards with the shaders, it will be dead. But, okay. It's gonna try something different. I'm gonna switch back for a second into my NVIDIA control panel just to make sure that I'm running this thing. Uh, let me check that the Java process also has the 1060. I wanna see her. Holy shit, I don't know what I have done. Okay. Let's try again. Java, Java, Java. No Java. Tell me why, Windows, tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> okay, program settings again. Oh my god. Everything is dead. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna quit the game. 
and assume that the thing was the, the power setting. Okay. So assuming that the problem is the power setting, I'm gonna change now to to another power plant. So I'm gonna go to power options and then gonna go to balance, that is the recommended plan. So we're gonna see how the computer behaves under this new power plan. Okay, so let's go to Minecraft. And wait, let me see, I think that here in settings I can also... Settings. Okay, no. Let's just play. Okay. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, we're in 48 FPS, 50 FPS. So far, so good. Looks like the, we're using our GTX 1060, but the temperature of the CPU rise to 69 to 75 degrees Celsius. I don't like this thing, oh sorry single player. I don't like this thing at all. 75 Celsius. This is okay. Now the game is running smoothly. We're around 41 FPS. I mean everything is smoothly. I don't see any lag. But we are under the 50 FPS at the balance setting. But I see temperatures around 78 of the Celsius in the CPU, which is not good because my plan was to keep it under 70 then it will be like something nice for the CPU hold on let me uh, let me reduce the music okay 47 so it doesn't annoy that much ah still too loud uh, music music and sounds master volume okay now wait music 56 okay there we go uh, we're in 76 Celsius, 74, 77. I mean, we are not going, oh shit, no, we reach 80s. I mean, the temperatures are under 80, and we must remember that the fans RPM are in automatic. I think that we are right now in, wow, we're in 5,357 RPMs. We're almost at the 6,000, and we are so far, the highest peak has been 82 Celsius. We are around 73 Celsius right now. Uh, I also got this Intel Extreme Tune Tune Utility, so we can check a little bit of this thing. Honestly, okay, max score frequency 3.25 gigahertz. I think that this is turbo turbo boosting. I really wish I knew how to disable the turbo boost here, so so maybe I could be like under a lower CPU voltage or frequency, and in that way it wouldn't like affect that much the the heat in the CPU. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that because I know that the reference clock is 100 megahertz. If I go lower, we're going in. Three hundred seventy-eight. No, this is still not core voltage offset. Core voltage. Turbo boost, short power max enable. Okay, let's see what this does. Yeah, I could go all the way to one amp. Oh my god, what is this? Oh no, I'm too scared to touch these things to be honest. So I'm just gonna discard the changes. Range 0 to 96 Celsius. Okay, here says that there's no thermal throttling. But I really wish that I could like take this voltage down. 
when in the graphics cards, I really don't, it, I, it really doesn't matter if I take the, the power down because there's no issue with the graphics card, but it's the processor that is hitting too much. Well, if we return back to the Minecraft, I mean, the game's running smoothly. I don't see any problem. <coughs> Sorry. But we are under 40 FPS. But it's still, it's extremely playable. I don't see any, I don't see any lag. However, those 80, 84 Celsius that I'm seeing like in the screen are like a little alarming. I still wanna see what else I can do to reduce the heat in the processor. I'm gonna try to underclock this some way. I, ha I need to research like ways of underclocking safely and without me touching too much settings because there's like too much calculations that you have to do in order to underclock or overclock. I hope there's, I find like some sort of software that can do it automatically for me. Yes, because even if we're in the balance mode, still the fans are almost at the, are almost like at its highest speed. And we're still getting like 81, 84 Celsius, which is like pretty alarming. Okay, so this is gonna be everything for this video. Uh, if you have any questions in the comments, feel free to, to write them down. I'm still gonna try like, to see ways so I can underclock the CPU so it's not, it's not making so much heat. So thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, whatever. Have a great day.